So today's presentation, I will be talking about Etsy and explaining exactly what it is, how to sign up, and then I will also be giving a live demonstration to show some features of the actual website and so that you can learn more about it hands on. Okay, so first, what is Etsy? Etsy is an online retailer dedicated to selling handcrafted goods and vintage or antique items. Etsy's slogan is keep commerce human and sellers on the site are mostly individual craftspeople or small business owners. Etsy has a mission statement. The statement is, in a time of increasing automation, it's our mission to keep human connection at the heart of commerce. That's why we built a place where creativity lives and thrives because it's powered by people. We help our community of sellers turn their ideas into successful businesses. Our platform connects them with millions of buyers looking for an alternative, something special with a human touch for those moments in life that deserve imagination. So that's kind of just what Etsy is all about and its beliefs and why it got started. So why should you use Etsy? And especially, why should you use Etsy over other e-commerce sites? This is because Etsy gives shoppers a unique online shopping experience. All Etsy sellers either need to be selling items they crafted themselves or vintage slash antique goods. These goods require to be at least 20 years old to be sold on the site. You should also use Etsy because you are supporting small business owners and craftspeople, not just big online corporations that you may be more familiar with. It is also important because you can find one of a kind and customizable handcrafted goods on Etsy. As well, you can shop from sellers across the world. It is like a global marketplace where you can find a variety of products and new things that you never thought you could find. So what can you buy on Etsy? A lot of things are sold on, off of Etsy, but some of the most popular categories include art, crafts, as well as crafting supplies, Jewelry, paper goods, sorry, my computer's just, paper goods, home decoration, as well as furniture, handmade personal care items, clothing and accessories, as well as party decorations. So if you're looking for any of these things, it would definitely be good to look on Etsy for cool vintage items. So can you sell on Etsy? Anyone can sell on Etsy. And setting up an Etsy account is for people within the three categories of item selling. An item may be handmade, which means that, um, sorry, the slide is just a bit out of order. Um, the items, must fall within these three categories. So it either can be handmade or it can be vintage, which means that it is at least 20 years old. And it also could be craft supplies that are sold on the site. And though setting up your shop is free, it's important to know that Etsy does collect a 5% transaction fee on all sales made through the site. So make sure you're aware of that if you are planning on selling on Etsy. So now I'm gonna go into a bit more detail on how to sign up for Etsy as a buyer. So if you're looking to buy anything on Etsy. To sign up, start by going to www.etsy.com. 
You will then be redirected to the main page. You will then click the sign in button in the top right hand corner. Next, the sign in screen will come up and you will click the register button on the sign in page. So to the right on the slide, you can see this is the sign in page. So if you already have an account, you can sign in with your email address and password. And if not, you can click the register button, which is shown in the orange box. Signing up is super easy. Just provide your email address as well as your first name. Then you will be prompted to create a password and then you will be able to click register. So here is the registration page where you would type in your email address, then your first name, and then a password you would like, and then you would click the button that is outlined in orange. Once you have registered, an email will be sent to you by email into your inbox asking you to confirm your email address. In the email, you just need to click on confirm account and your account has been successfully set up. To the right is um, a little blue image that is what an email would look like to confirm your Etsy account. And within the email, you will see this confirm account button that is outlined in orange and all you need to do is click that button and your account will be created and confirmed. Next, I'm going to explain how you can sign up for Etsy if you have selling in mind. Just a quick note is that you will need a regular Etsy account to sign up as a seller. So make sure you go through the first steps I have just shown you first, and then from there you will be able to become a seller. So to create a seller account on Etsy, Start by going to www.etsy.com slash sell. Then you can start setting up your account by clicking open your Etsy shop. So, sorry. Um, you will see this little button that says open your Etsy shop with two hands above it. And it says start selling today. So you can just click that button. Next, you just need to sign into your Etsy account that you have already created, as I said before. This is why it's important that you already have your main account set up so that you can continue on to becoming a seller. So you will just put in your email address and click continue. From here, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is set up what you feel your shop should have and your preferences. So you can choose the language of your shop. There are many different languages available. You can also choose your shop's country and the currency you are using in your shop. Then you need to fill out a quick um, three option question about which of the following describes you. So the three options include Selling is my full-time job. I sell part-time, but hope to sell full-time. And lastly, I sell part-time and that's how I like it. So you can decide which situation you are in to let Etsy know what you're planning on doing with their site and what you want for your shop. And to the right, you can see a few descriptions on what, like what each question is asking you. So there's one about language, then the country and the shop currency, if you're unsure about exactly what the question is wanting from you. Next, you need to name your shop. So you can choose a memorable name that reflects your style, or maybe you want it to emphasize what you're buy, what you're selling, sorry. And it can be up to 20 characters. It can really be anything you want, um, though if the name is already taken, you will know that when you click check avail availability right beside it. And if it is already taken, 
you will have to create a new one. It may be similar if you want it to be, or you could just come up with a whole new idea. It really just depends on what you're really wanting to do with your shop and what your name is. So now, after you have um, created your shop and made your preferences, as well as named it, you can add items to your shop. So you can add as many listings as you want. And Etsy does recommend that you should try to do 10 or more for a good solid start to your store to really show your buyers what you're trying to sell and give them some options with anything that they're looking for. So um, it's also important to have as many listings as you can because it's easier for others to discover your store when you have more things out there and more people will really see your products. Finally, the last step is to set up payment and billing for your shop and then you will be ready to start selling. So it is important to decide how you want to get paid. And um, always remember that it is protected um, with the site. So you don't need to worry about security issues. And you can just select which form you want to get paid with, if it's a Visa card or PayPal or Apple Pay, whatever makes you feel comfortable or whatever works best for you. And then also remember to list where your bank is located. So which country it is located in for Etsy to know that. Of course, you will want to add more details to your shop as you go along and play around with the site to get the hang of what the best practices are for selling on the site. So what I just explained is more of the basic introduction of how to start selling, but as you become more experienced with the site and decide what works best for you and what you think helps your products to sell, you can change it around and, you know, make it more your own. And Etsy is really good for making it original and unique and really a place to support small businesses and even individual individuals. Um, just creating a new brand and doing what they believe their shop should be. And now I will be giving a live demonstration on the website itself so that you can gain more of an understanding as to how to use it. Okay, so first I'm just going to make sure that I can show you all how to actually sign in. So um, to get to this page, as I said before, all you need to do is type in www.etsy.com and this is the page that's going to come up when you search that. So here is just, you know, your home page. And um, so to sign in, you're going to click this button in the top right hand corner, which is the sign in button. So I'm just going to click on that. And if I already have an account, I'm gonna type in my email address as well as my password that I've created and then click sign in. But if I do not have an account, you can just click this register button right here in the right top hand corner of the sign in sheet. And it will prompt you to do the things that I explained before, including your email and your first name. So personally, I have an Etsy account with Google so you can also continue with the sign in through your Google account, as well as Facebook and Apple. So if that's the case for you, um, it is for me. So I'm going to click continue with Google, which will then lead me to choose my account and take me into my personal Etsy account. So um, once you are in, you can start looking around, you know, so I'm gonna just explain a few things. So here at the top, you can really search for anything that you're looking for from Etsy. And even if you're not sure if they have it or not, maybe related things can come up and you'll find something that you um, maybe is better. 
And so it's important, this search bar is very good. And then you can also find different subcategories right below. Um, so these include jewelry and accessories, clothing and shoes, home and living, wedding and party, toys and entertainment, art collectibles, as well as craft supplies, and vintage. So just a note is that if you're ever looking for anything for your wedding or a wedding that you're hosting or helping to organize, um, it's definitely been recommended that there's a lot of great things on Etsy. So if you want, you can take a look here. But basically, these are just subcategories that you can really look into to find certain things. So if you click on it, all these different sections come up for each of these subcategories. And you can really find what you're looking for, or you can do a more detailed search in the search bar. But these subcategories are extremely good for just looking around. If you're not, you know, like if you're not pinpointing exactly one thing, you can maybe just say, oh, I'm looking for a bracelet and go to the bracelet section. Or you can search it if that is what you want to do. So, now I'm actually going to search for a few items to show you what it's like to really explore on Etsy. So I'm thinking that I want to look at face masks because it's important to stay safe during COVID. So when you search up face masks, many different products come up from many different stores. And this is really just like any other online store that you can search up a product and it just comes up. And um, you can sort uh, the products that come up by clicking this sort by button. So there's options to sort by relevancy, top customer reviews, the highest prices, the lowest prices, as well as most recent. As well, I would like to mention that you can see from just the outside of the product, if it's a bestseller, you will see this little bestseller tag on it, as well as this green tag, which is free delivery. So if you're really looking for something that is free delivery, keep an eye out for that little symbol. And you can also um, find products that you're looking for on this sidebar. So um, it's a good way to filter your searches. So you can find different categories that you're looking for. And then you can select if you want special offers such as sales or free deliveries. You can choose um, how long it's going to take to ship to you. If timing is an issue and you want it to come more qu quickly, you can select one business day so that it'll come faster. You can also change your price range and even customize it if you really have a specific range of money you're willing to spend. You can then sort by style of the product you search up, you searched up, as well as the size. So if you're looking for an adult face mask, you can just click adult. You can also see for masks if you would like a pocket for a filter, if that's what you're looking for a nose wire or a closure, and then also by color. So there's lots, as you can see, there's lots of different things that you can do to find exactly what you're looking for and products that would really suit you and your personal preferences. And then you can also um, change the location of the shop, the item type, whether it's handmade or vintage, and then the ordering options. And lastly, where it can deliver to, or where you want it to deliver to. So those are just some important things that I would look out for if you're ever shopping on Etsy and you're just having a hard time finding something that you really like. You know, you can just go to the filter side, which is the, the left side. You can filter it by all these different specific things that you're interested in. So now I'm going to actually go into a store to show you what an online Etsy store is like. So the store that I have chosen to show you guys is called Live 
Love Studio. So, one second, I just need to find the correct one. So, um, basically, you can really search up any stores and um, it's not seeming to come up. I'll just choose a different one. So, this is a store on Etsy. That is not it. I'm very sorry. I will get it to work. Um, Okay, just when I'm trying to figure that out, I'll talk about the favorites. So, the favorites is a good section to go to if you are looking for items, you find one, and you really like it, but you're not quite sure if you're going to buy it. So, you can do this by um, either clicking this heart icon here, which is on the outside of the image of the product. So you can either click this heart or you can also go click onto the product and click this heart from there. So either way, it'll do the same thing and a little notification will pop up on the bottom of your screen. So that will put it into this section of your website. So to access that, you would just click this up here so this is one of, these are some of the items that I just practiced to favorite. So it's, it's an important kind of thing to know about if you're just looking for things and you see something you really like. So here's the Live Love Studio shop I was talking about. So here you can see information about the owner of the shop, which is important if you want to look into, you know, what they're doing and what they believe in. So um, this particular shop is owned by a lady named Kate Moore, as you can see here. And you can contact her by clicking this contact button. You can also see some important information just here when you search up a shop, such as where it's located, how long it's been on Etsy, um, uh, and how many sales it's had as well as any announcements that will show up right here. Another important thing to know is that you can favorite shops by just clicking this button, favorite shop. So I'm just gonna favorite that and it will then show up in my favorites section. So here you can see, as you scroll down, you can see all the items that she sells. So you can e either search for items or you can look into these individual sections that um, categorize what she sells. So you can see that she has prints, note cards, planners, and notepads. So if you click on that, you can see all of the planners and notepads she is selling. And if you go back to all, you can see her featured items and then all the items she sells. If you're just interested in looking at everything she has to offer, you can just scroll down here and if you like to see something you like, then you can click on it or favorite it by clicking the heart in the corner. And yeah. So now I'm gonna show you how you can see reviews on the product. If you see something you like and you're just not sure if you want to get it, you can see what other people thought about it and maybe some pros and cons of the product and things that are useful to know about. So here, if you just um, scroll down past the photo of the product, you will see the shop reviews from many different people that have purchased this item and what they rated it in stars. So these people have rated it as five stars and made some nice comments about it. As well, you can um, see if it was handmade, which it most likely will be on Etsy. And then there's a small description here to see more about the product. So it's really good um, shopping on Etsy 
to see really, it really gives you everything that you need to know about it, whether it's the description, information about the shop owner, reviews. It's, it's a really great place to have clear communication with what they're exactly selling you. And um, feel free to also contact the owner and they will most likely get back to you. And you can click the message Kate button here. And then there's also just a few more things about this item that you can see. So how long it takes to dispatch, where it's from, the delivery costs, and then some other policies that she has. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to start buying items. So if you're interested in something you see, there are two options, or three. You can favorite it and save it for later, or you can click buy it now or add to basket. So if you click buy it now, it's gonna redirect you to payment and shipping details. But if you press add to basket, I'm gonna show you after you select the dimensions because it's a card, add to basket, it will then take you to the basket and you can also access it from this top corner right beside your profile photo where it says basket with a little bag icon and it says the number of items. So here you can see what's in your basket, how you'll pay, and then after you're done sorting all that out, you can proceed to check out. Now, I'm going to show you how to edit your account in settings and your profile. So you can find your personal profile up on this main menu up here where it says you with that little drop down arrow. So I'm just gonna press that drop down arrow and a few options come up. So first I'm gonna click view profile to edit my profile. So here, I can edit my profile. I can see my favorited items, as well as my favorited shops and lists as well. So this is a really good section to see if maybe you had a favorite shop, you favorited it, but now you can't remember the name. So you just head to favorited shops and you can just click right on that to head back to the shop you were thinking of buying from. Um, next, um, some other options in this drop down menu include seeing your gift card balance. So, if somebody gifted you a gift card for Etsy, you will see how much money and credit you have for the website. You can also see your messages if you click on this, which will take you to the communication platform. If you might be talking to a store owner or um, you're wanting more information about a product, feel free to, um, to contact them and you'll be able to find that in the messages section. Next is purchases and reviews. So this is where you can see your purchases and just if, say if you bought something, you wanted to buy it again, you could see what it was. So that's really helpful. And then here is your teams. So I think that this is a super cool feature of Etsy because you can, it's a really good community space and you can join teams. So if you're a seller, you can join teams with other sellers or you can just collaborate and start discussions as well as browse the forums. So that's a really nice place to go. And then to return back to this just main site, you can just click this Etsy orange writing right there. So the last thing is, I will go over account settings after in a bit more detail, but the sign out button. So if you click this button, it will just sign you out. You don't need to do anything else if you're on somebody else's computer and you wanna make sure that your account is secure, just feel free to sign out and that will just make sure that nobody can get in without a password. And so lastly, you can look at your 
um, account settings. So here um, you can see about yourself as well as since when, like when you joined as a member of Etsy, if that is something that's important to you. You can also see your connected accounts. So you can connect Etsy with Facebook, as well as your email and Twitter. And just doing that will, on say if you do that with Facebook, it will allow your friends to find you on Etsy. So if that's something that you're interested in, um, maybe if you're selling something, then your friends will be able to find it more easily if you say you don't tell them about it. So that's a pretty interesting feature that you can connect others to Etsy. Then you are also able to change your password and your email. And lastly, you're, you are able to close your account. So when you do this, your profile will not show up if somebody searches you up or um, tries to find your shop. No, it won't show any of your listings. And um, so it really completely hides you from others on Etsy. Um, any non-delivery cases you have not received, but um, it was from a shop, they, it will not, not be active anymore. So that's an important thing to know. And one last thing is that you can reopen your account at any time. Um, so when you're ready to return, you can simply go to www.etsy.com and sign in as usual, or you can contact Etsy support to help you to reopen your account if you're having any troubles. And just down here, you can select why you are leaving. So um, it could be personal reasons, Etsy isn't right for me, business reasons or something else. And then just click close your account and it will be hidden from others on Etsy. So next in the settings is preferences. This is where you can decide which language it is in, um, which currency you will be using, the region, so um, it can customize information for you so that, say, if you want to buy something, but it's not going to be able to get to Canada, it won't, it won't pop up first so that you can really have products that are well suited to you based on where you live. And then you can also turn off um, mail and phone calls from Etsy by just clicking on the box and making sure it's not selected. And then when, if you are updating anything, just always make sure to click update preferences to save it. So next in settings is privacy. Here you can see um, and clear your recently viewed listings if you don't want to see what you've searched up in the past. You can also request to download your own personal data if that interests you. And you can also request to fully delete your data and account. And this is different from closing your account, as I mentioned before, because um, once you have deleted it, your account cannot be restored. So make sure that if you do want to um, just go off Etsy maybe for a few months, that you close it. But if you really permanently are like, I do not want Etsy, you can request deletion here by clicking this button. You can also change your findability and um, allowing others to find you by your email address. And then um, here it just says what uh, technologies you consented to for Etsy to run. And lastly, I think this is very important, is that um, you allow technologies for things um, like personalized ads. So if you really don't want personalized ads, you can just turn it off right there, or you can turn it back on, and then you can update settings. So next in settings is the security. So here you can turn on two-factor authentication. Um, there's many different ways you can use two-factor authentication with Etsy, either through an authenticator app, text message, phone, or backup codes. Then you can also see your sign-in and device history. 
Um, here you can add a new address for your delivery, which is important when you're buying things. And then um, it is only possible to add credit cards from your checkout. So this section is not really useful to adding credit cards. And then lastly is your email not notifications and subscriptions. So you can um, uh, change your preferences of when sellers and general people are emailing you and when you want to be emailed. And lastly, I will just quickly show you how you can begin selling. So you can just click this button, which is shop manager, or it may also show sell on Etsy because I've already clicked on it before. It says shop manager now. And then you will simply fill out all of this information, your preferences, your name and your stock, as well as how you'll get paid and your billing. So that concludes my live demonstration. I hope that was a bit more helpful to understanding how to actually use the website.